Being a beginner in Warzone 2 can be pretty difficult, especially when you're met with so many guns, tons of attachments, and loads of perks to choose from. Don't worry, because I've got you covered. I'll show you the best and easiest loadout that you can use to get more wins and kills no matter your skill level. And the best part, you'll have all these guns unlocked by player level 5. Let's start with the primary weapon. We're going to be going with the Sakin MG38 light machine gun, which has the lowest recoil in the game and can be unlocked at player level 5. And for our secondary weapon, we've got the Vel 46 submachine gun. This lightweight gun is extremely extremely versatile and has a really quick time to kill, but to select this instead of a pistol, launcher or knife, you'll need to have the weapon specialist perk package chosen, which includes overkill, allowing you to select two primary weapons at a loadout, strong arm, showing you the trajectory of your grenade throws, and spotter, highlighting enemy equipment on your screen that you can also hack, and then finally, survivor, which pings enemies that downed you and also gets you revived faster as well. For the equipment, we'll take the frag grenade as our lethal option and the flash grenade as our tactical choice. The frag grenade is a cookable fragmentation grenade that explodes after a set amount of time, whilst the flash grenade will blind and deafen your targets. With these bits of equipment attached, you'll be well on your way to dominating the battlefield. However, let's get started and jump straight into the beginner level attachments for the Sakin MG38. With the main focus being on recoil control and bullet velocity, you can see the full build on the screen now, but you will unlock each attachment at the following levels. For the Kaisel Dawn Barrel, this is unlocked at weapon level 9, the Cronin WL55 which is unlocked at weapon level 7, the Bruin G305 Grip Wrap which is unlocked at weapon level 10 and then the FTAC Condor stock which is unlocked at weapon level 11 and finally for the optic the DR582 hybrid sight which is unlocked at weapon level 5. Now moving over to the beginner attachments for your secondary weapon the Vel46 submachine gun. On this gun we'll mainly be focusing on mobility, recoil control and hip fire accuracy. Again the full build can be seen on the screen now but each attachment is unlocked at the following weapon levels. The Lackman Dart 165mm which is unlocked at weapon level 4. The Bruin which is unlocked at weapon level 3 the 50 round mag which is unlocked at weapon level 7, the demo RXT stock which is unlocked at weapon level 8 and the Corvus Soul 76 which is unlocked at weapon level 5. However if you do have any other low zoom optic with a clear precision sight unlocked then take that instead. My personal favourite being the Cronin Mini Pro. Now let's move on to the fully leveled attachments for the Sakin MG38. This is where this gun's going to really start to pack a punch. With a focus on bullet velocity and recoil control again, this part of the video will also contain the tuning for each attachment which just for your knowledge helps you to adjust just each attachment to either get like more recoil control or aim down sight speed for example. For the barrel we're going to be taking the 20 inch Bruin Silver Series barrel which helps out a bullet velocity and recoil control and this is unlocked at weapon level 16 and for the tuning go up towards recoil steadiness by plus 0.37 then left towards ADS speed by negative 0.32. Moving on to the under barrel take the Bruin Warrior Grip which helps out drastically increasing your recoil control and this is unlocked at weapon level 12. For the tuning go up towards recoil stabilization by plus 0.57 then keep the bottom slider at zero as it's perfect as is. Moving on to the rear grip take the Bruin G305 grip wrap for improved recoil control and this is unlocked at weapon level 10 then for the tuning go up towards recoil steadiness by plus 0.65 and then again keep the bottom slider at zero. For the stock take the FTAC Condor stock for more recoil control and this is unlocked at weapon level 11 and then for the tuning go down towards ADS speed by negative 1.94 then keep the bottom slider at zero. And lastly moving on to the optic take the Corvus Soul 76. You unlock this one by getting the Vel 46 to weapon level 5 or any other low zoom optics such as the Aim OPV4 which is my personal favourite. Or again as I mentioned on the Vel 46 you can also take the Cronin Mini Pro. For the tuning on the Corvus go down towards ADS speed by negative 1.19 then all the way to the right for far eye position by negative 1.8. You can see the full build on the screen now. Now moving on to the fully leveled attachments for the Vel 46, again with a focus on mobility. For the barrel, take the Lackman Dart 165mm which is unlocked at weapon level 4 and this helps out with bullet velocity and recoil control. For the tuning, go down towards the aim walking speed by negative 0.16 and then left towards aim down sight speed by negative 0.17. For the muzzle, take the Syngard MKV for increased bullet velocity and recoil control with a nice added bonus of keeping you off the minimap by making your shot suppressed as well and this is unlocked at weapon level 16. For the tuning, go up towards recoil smoothness by plus 0.36 then right towards bullet velocity by plus 0.65. Moving on to the rear grip take the Schlager soldier grip for increased sprint to fire and aim down sight speed making you much more mobile and this is unlocked at weapon level 25 and then for the tuning go down towards aim down sight speed by negative 0.39 and then left towards sprint to fire speed by negative 0.22 and then onto the stock take the demo RXT stock for increased mobility this is unlocked at weapon level 8. For the tuning go down towards 
forward ADS speed by negative 1.29 and then left for aim walking speed by negative 1.53. And then lastly onto the optic, take the Corvus Soul 76 for a precision sight. This is unlocked at weapon level 5. However, you should probably use any other low zoom optic such as the Corona Mini Pro, which is my personal favourite as the Corvus Soul is a little bit obstructive. Just mess around in the firing range and find out what works for you with what you've got unlocked. But for the tuning on the Corvus Soul, go down for ADS speed by negative 0.68 and then right for the far eye position by negative 1.8. You can see the full build on the screen now, but if you did want to level your guns out to max level in just half an hour, and bear in mind there's 28 weapon levels for the Vel 46, so definitely some grinding there, then click on the video on the left. But for the pro level attachments for the Sakin MG38, which contains attachments from other guns unlocked in the game, then click on the middle video. And then for the Vel 46 Pro attachments, again, which contains attachments from other guns in the game, click on the video on the right hand side of the screen. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.